Hello, welcome. In this short video, we will learn how to use the properties like, such as disjoint sets and independent events to compute probabilities of combinations of different events. That is given that the probability of event A is equal to say 1 by 4, probability of event B is equal to 1 by 8, probability of event C is equal to 5 by 8, probability of D is equal to 3 by 8. And given the facts that A and B are disjoint and C and D are independent. This basically means that probability of A intersection B is 0. And this basically means that probability of C intersection D is equal to probability of C times probability of D. So now by using this information and these properties, we want to find the probabilities of different combinations of these events A, B and C, D. So the first one will be probability of A intersection B, which is obviously equal to 0 since A and B are disjoint. That means probability of A, B and probability of A intersection B are 0. So probability that is probability of A intersection B is 0. Second one, we want to find probability of A union B. We know that the formula is equal to, I mean the formula for probability of A union B is probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. This is equal to probability of A is 1 by 4, probability of B is 1 by 8 and this is 0. I mean probability of A intersection B is 0 because A intersection B is an empty set. So, we have probability of A union B is equal to 3 by 8. Next one is probability of A intersection B complement. Since A and B are disjoint, then probability of uh, then uh, the event, basically event A and event B do not have any common area. I mean, when you see it in terms of Venn diagrams. So, this is A and this is B. So, given that A and B are disjoint, then we can clearly say that uh, the intersection of A and B complement will be equal to A. Since this is the B, then this is the this area is the B complement. So obviously it covers the area of A. That means A intersection B complement should be equal to A. Therefore, probability of A intersection B complement should be equal to probability of A, which is equal to 1 by 4. Next one is probability of A union B complement. So which is obviously equal to probability of A plus probability of B complement minus probability of A intersection B complement. And from, uh, from, from part 3, we, know, we learned that probability of A intersection B complement is equal to probability of A. So we have probability of A union B complement should be equal to probability of B complement, which is 1 minus probability of B, which is equal to 7 by 8. If A and B are independent, independent. That means we want to see that if a probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of A times probability of B. We want to verify that if this is true. But we know that probability of A intersection B is zero, and and we know that probability of A times probability of B is equal to 1 by 32, which is not equal to 0. Therefore, probability of A intersection B is not equal to probability of A times probability of B. And hence, A and B are not independent. Next question is, we want to see intersection D. And given the property that C and D are, or given the fact that C and D are independent, then we know that probability of C intersection D should be equal to probability of C times probability of D, which is equal to 5 by 8 times 3 by 8, that is 15 by 64. So next one is probability of C, inter C union D, that is union of two independent events, which is equal to probability of C plus probability of D minus probability of C 
times probability of G since C and D are independent, they, the intersection, the probability of intersection should be equal to the product of probabilities. So, this is equal to 5 by 8 plus 3 by 8 minus 15 by 64, which is equal to 49 by 64. Next one is probability of C given D. Since C and D are independent, this should be equal to probability of C. This can be easily verified by using the expression for probability of C given D. That is a conditional probability is equal to probability of C D divided by probability of D. But probability of C D should is equal to probability of C times probability of D. That means this is equal to probability of C. So, probability of C given D is equal to probability of C which is equal to 5 by 8. Next one is probability of C intersection D complement. But from a previous video, we learned that if two events A and B are independent, then events A and B complement are also independent. That means C and D are D complement are independent. So, probability of C intersection D complement is equal to probability of C times probability of D complement, which is equal to 5 by 8 times 1 minus probability of D is 3 by 8. So, 1 minus 3 by 8. So, this is equal to 5 by 8. Then, and probability of C intersection D complement is 25 by 64. The next one is probability of C complement intersection D complement, which is obviously equal to probability of C union D whole complement, which is again equal to 1 minus probability of C union D, which is again equal to 1 minus probability of C plus probability of D minus probability of C times probability of D, which is obviously equal to 1 minus 5 by 8 plus 3 by 8 and this is 15 by 64. So, minus or minus, minus 15 by 64. So, finally, the solution will be equal to 15 by 60. Well, since these are, since these two fractions sum to 1. And the next probability is probability of C union D complement which is equal to probability of C plus probability of D complement minus probability of C times probability of D complement. So, this is equal to probability of C is 5 by 8. Probability of D complement is equal to again 1 minus 3 by 8 and probability of C is 5 by 8. Probability of D complement is 5 by 8. So, we have 2 times 5 by 8 that is 10 by 8 and this is 25 by 64. So, which is going to be equal to which is equal to 55 by 64. Now, we want to verify whether uh, that C, C complement and D complement are independent. So, uh, we know that probability of C complement intersection D complement is equal to 15 by 64 from this problem. But we also know that um, probability of C complement times probability of D complement is equal to 1 minus 5 by 8 divided in multiplied by 1 minus 3 by 8. So, which is equal to 3 by 8 into 5 by 8 which is 15 by 64. Hence, probability of C complement intersection D complement is equal to probability of C complement times probability of D complement. That is, C complement and D complement are independent of each other. This fact basically also follows from the fact that C and D are independent. Thanks for watching.